Hello, welcome to our program today. Our learning objective for this session is finding the points of intersection of a curve and a straight line. We are going to um, feed on some principles today which we'll be needing um, for now and in the future, especially when we're looking at similar problems involving um, a curve and a straight line. Right, so we've been given um, the equation of a quadratic curve as y equals x squared add 2x and we've been given the equation of a straight line okay so the first thing to note is the fact that both equations start with y since that is the case it means that we can comfortably link the two because each of them says y equals. Therefore, we can safely equate the first equation to the next. Having done that though, because we have still a quadratic equation, we want to be able to isolate the terms of this equation so that we end up with a quadratic equation of the form ax squared add bx add c equals to zero so that we can work out what x is. To do that, we would want to isolate our points. Let's now isolate our whole numbers. We'll do that by subtracting 9 from both sides because we want to end up with a 0 on the right hand side. What else would we do? We will then eliminate the x as well from the right hand side and we want to make sure that we do it to both sides. We need to do it to both sides because of the power of the equal sign. Whatever we do to the left, we need to do it to the right so that our equation remains balanced at all times. At this stage then, we can safely simplify both sides. x squared obviously would come down with no changes and then we have 2x take away x. We have a positive 3 take away 9 and this now would equal 0. So we want to think of at this stage two numbers whose product will give us negative 6 but whose sum will give us the coefficient of this x which obviously is 1. So what two numbers can you think of? Now we can then go through to any two numbers, for example, that multiply to give us 6. So we have 1, 6, 2, 3, and so on. And then ask ourselves, which of these two do we choose? So that when we add both at some point, we will be ending up with a 1. So that, that, that makes 2 and 3 our safest option. And in considering the 2 and 3, which of these two numbers can I negate so that when I multiply, I would still get a negative 6, but then I would add to get a positive 1. And so the safest answer is to negate the 2. Then all you do, introduce your double brackets, so your answer then becomes x minus 2, x plus 3. Okay, right, at this stage, this tells you that you have the product of two numbers and they give you zero. This would then mean that either x minus 2 is zero or x plus 3 is zero because one of them has to be zero for the product to be zero. 
So this simplifies to x equals 2 or x equals negative 3. Now remember this. We're looking at the two points of intersections. In general, a quadratic curve of this form with positive coefficient of the x squared will have this shape and a linear equation of this shape with a positive gradient will have this shape. They will meet if we were using a graph at two points and each of the two points will have a coordinate made up of x and y. Hence, having worked out what our x's are, we will need to substitute them into either of the first two of the equations to work out the corresponding y value. So we say, if x is 2 then, it would mean that y will be equal to 2 add 9. That is using the second equation. I find that simpler. You could also use the first. You should end up with the same answer. No difference at all. Okay. Right. In the second instance, if x equals negative 3, it would mean that our y will be negative 3 add 9. That means y equals 6. Okay. So your two points of intersection, when x is 2, y is 11. When x is negative 3, y is 6. Because it says find the coordinates. So we would now need to put them into coordinate format, yes? So we have 2, 11, and negative 3, and 6. Now, I need to make a note here, because not all questions ask you to write them in the form of a coordinate. If you haven't been asked to do that, I would advise you not to put them in a coordinate format. Okay, just leave them as they are when you've worked them out. But when you've been asked to write them as a coordinate, by all means, do that in answer to the question. This question would typically be a five mark question and you can see why um, because there's a lot of um, different skills involved to be able to arrive at your final answer. Now feel free and apply the same principles um, in any scenario when you've been given um, two equations to solve when one of them isn't linear. Thank you for listening and I hope this benefits you. If you have any questions, by all means, drop, it, drop me an email or a comment. Thank you.